Hi, Tim Unkert here and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to use GIMP to create an XY coordinate grid. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to File, click on New, and you'll see it, the default size is 1920 by 1080 pixels. I want to do inches, so I'm going to do I'm just going to click on this and switch to inches and I'm going to make it a two by two. So I'm going to do two inches for the width and two inches for the height. I'm now going to click OK. And our two by two base layer will start up. I'm going to go to view and go down to show grid and click on show grid. And now you see that we have uh, the horizontal and vertical grid lines. That's pretty small. So I'm now gonna go up to image and I'm gonna go up to, or down to configure grid. And I'm gonna go to the spacing. And I, I think for me, uh, I prefer about an eighth of an inch after experimenting a little bit with this. So I'm gonna go 0.125 for the horizontal and the vertical is automatically going to scale to match. I'm going to click OK. And now we have uh, each of the grids is one, you know, an eighth of an inch by an eighth of an inch, which works pretty well. OK, I'm going to go up to here. Normally, you'll have paintbrush as your default. OK, you see the paintbrush symbol. I'm going to right click and go to pencil. And I'm going to select the small setting up here. OK. I'm going to select what color I want to use. You can use whatever you want. I'm using this blue color here. And I'm going to go down here. And I'm going to hit the shift button and then left click. And then I'm going to drag it. And I didn't line it up quite well. So I'm just going to click edit and undo it. And now I've got these grid lines. Let me line that up. So I'm going to do shift, left click, drag it up here do another left click still holding the shift button drag it to here do another left click go back to here another left click still holding the shift button and go to here another left click i'm now releasing the shift button and releasing this i'm going to go back to here left click once and then shift and left click just to make sure uh, it's not to the previous one. Drag it out to here, left click, go to here, left click, back, left click, go to here, left click. Okay, so now I've got my Y axis and my X axis. And the final step I need to do is just label them. So I'm going to click on the text here. Uh, I picked 30. Again, that's personal preference. I'm just going, and the font I'm using is sans serif bold. Again, that's personal preference. I'm going to go here and drag this out and type Y. That's the Y axis. And then I'm going to go here and drag this out and type X because this is the X axis. Okay, so now I am set with my graph and I can export this image uh, to a file, a folder that I want to keep it in. That's basically it to creating an XY coordinate grid using GIMP. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. It really does help the channel grow. I'll also leave uh, links to my 90 style blog experiment uh, that I'm doing. That one uh, just got approved by Google AdSense, so I'm pretty psyched about that. And uh, also my social links in case you want to follow me there. Thanks for tuning in. I hope to see you in the next one and have a great day.